working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Cyril. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. <sighs> By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that! Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come and get me. Right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. 
Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Why do I doubt Avalak's a fan of this idea? Do you see him here? I left him a letter. We'll rejoin him in Novigrad. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridan's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the Crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Avalark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Havelach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalarch's student. approach but they've come for the feast wouldn't do to cast them out didn't come to celebrate we need to get to the top of the mountain the gate is shut you'll not pass but we fire us down that away with food and drink and plenty sit down beside one and perhaps this year the ladies will descend give us the privilege of seeing them we thank you for the invitation be glad to sit down right speak for yourself Come with me.
mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council, some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies.